We're here at the Justice for Jalal rally here at Treasury Gardens in Melbourne. Uh, this is to campaign for justice for 13-year-old uh, uh, Jalal Yassin Najul, who was hit and killed by an unlicensed uh, Sudanese uh, driver, Ayu Deng, uh, last year. And recently she was only sentenced to 80 hours community service and she was not charged with culpable driving. Uh, Jalal's mother, uh, Olivia, she has uh, organised today's rally and uh, the Justice for Jalal Movement is asking for uh, unlicensed drivers who uh, you know, cause uh, injury and death, uh, such as what happened to Jalal, get uh, tougher sentences. And they're also calling for uh, the Victoria Police investigation uh, to be reopened. Uh, so it's quite a uh, dreary day here in Melbourne. As you can see behind me, there's already a lot of Jalal supporters here. They're wearing uh, blue t shirts uh, which says, Walk with Jalal, uh, you are his voice. And so we hope that the weather doesn't deter people and as it begins close to the rally there's uh, uh, more people who come along to express their support. wrong reason but hopefully we can campaign today and we can try and make a change and try and have the police reinvestigate this. Um, there seems to be so many gaps and holes in what's gone on in the last past 12 months. I only met Olivia three weeks ago but she is amazing, she's strong, her family is beautiful. Um, she's told me a little bit about Jalal and how much she loved his brothers and how he was a big help. Um, looking after four kids is very hard. Come closer, come closer. Come Sorry, love. Um, so he's obviously got a bright and beautiful smile and what happened a year ago is just so sad. It breaks my heart and I've been to too many of these things as of some of us are here. We're either touched by knowing a victim or we're touched by losing somebody very close to us. So um, I'm going to let Olivia tell her story about what exactly has happened, but obviously we're here to try and change the law, make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else, and close the gap that they're supposed to be thinking about, and also try and make awareness to see if there's anything else we can do. Um, Driving unlicensed. Does everyone put your hand up if you know that it's illegal to drive unlicensed? Exactly. So let's try and see if we can get some awareness because the crime doesn't fit the punishment, and um, we need to definitely campaign until we can get something done for Olivia and her family. Yes. 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 Yes.
Victims lives matter. Yep. Victims lives matter. 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 How many families have to suffer? Victims lives matter. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.